Hey guys, this is Peter, and if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been taking a look at using 4G and 5G cellular networks as a last mile solution to get the internet into your home. That means you can cancel your cable completely. So not only do we not need them for entertainment, but now we don't need them for the internet either. It's been getting cheaper and cheaper. And well, here's one that I think is really exciting. It's from my favorite provider, which is T-Mobile. They're not sponsoring this in any way. In fact, I paid for everything, but uh, I've been with them for 14 years. They cover our country pretty darn well. I like the way they're doing 5G. They're actually aggregating mid-band frequencies, which means that their single tower can now cover larger spaces. And they're getting the speed by aggregating different frequencies together. It's kind of genius. And it would be nice if uh, Verizon and AT&T would take note. But you know, our country sells things, uh, different band access through the FCC, and they kind of miss the boat. But you know, that's going to all change over time. It's kind of neat to see 5G coming out. And uh, I really wanted to get it for the home and try it out. They're offering this to you. If you can get it in your area, it is a modem that comes, I'm gonna show you, it comes free of charge and I get high speed internet for $50 a month. I've been paying more than that for a limited amount, but here I'm gonna check availability real quick. It's finally available in my area and that's pretty exciting because I do live in a major metropolitan area, but I couldn't get it because they wanna make sure that they have enough access on these poles. Uh, this is not a movable solution, by the way. So they wanna know where you are so they can kind of uh, locate you to a specific tower and know where your data is gonna be coming from. And let's take a quick look. There is no equipment cost, it's paid for. There is no service contract and there is no data cap. It's gonna go full speed all the time. This opens some real doors for me. You know, uh, with Comcast, I've always hit my upper uh, data limit, which was a terabyte a month. That's a thousand gigabytes. Yeah, with three kids and homeschooling, it just wasn't an option. I wanted to ditch them, but I couldn't. I had to go back, uh, but now it's gonna change. T-Mobile, if they can give me the kind of access that I've been getting, which has been very good over 4G till now, uh, I want to try the 5G, see if I can get good speeds and unlimited. So now I'm going to be able to sign up for all these 4K. I have a 4K a K TV coming. I'm going to get a new NVIDIA Shield so I can try all the new features where they're going to uh, enable me to upscale my picture and all that. I'll be able to try all that stuff out because now I'm not bandwidth terrified anymore. So, uh, you know, just like if you had a... Uh, a car that uh, runs off electricity, you start to get uh, anxiety over, you know, distance. Well, I would get bandwidth anxiety and I don't have that anymore. There's no data caps. So I'm going to open up this box. We're going to see what's inside and uh, let's take a peek. I usually don't do unboxings because no one wants to see somebody that doesn't know what they're opening. <laughs> you know, it is kind of exciting to see what you get. No equipment costs. They sent this to me. Uh, and they would send one to you. See, there's some manuals and stuff in there. That's always good to see. I don't really need it. It just says home internet. That's kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to open up the box. I will look at that later, I promise. I'm looking at a tower design here. And let's take a quick look at that. There's more stuff at the bottom of the box. But here, I'm going to just take a look, unwrap this. People are going to say, I can't see what you're doing. All right, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's just a, a Tyvek sleeve of some kind. It's actually kind of foamy, not really Tyvek. All right, there we go. It is a, they call this a chimney. They call it a chimney because it's designed for airflow so that heat can come in and come out the top. Now, am I right about that? It's kind of a bold statement. It's designed so that air can enter in the bottom and probably leave out the top. Now, for that to be a true statement, we're going to look for a power supply that actually has a lot of power because uh, a lot of power equals heat. On the back here, I see a reset button. I see two LAN ports. And uh, I see, now that we're over 100 megabit, you may want a gateway that can support uh, over 100 megabit connections. So uh, keep that in mind. Well, a little plug here with a phone line. I wonder if I can do... Volte or voice over LTE. Uh, it looks like there is a type three USB port, a power button, and wow, what is that? It says uh, UPS, universal power supply. 
Maybe keep your network up even if you lose power. We're going to have to look into that. And then a power plug. I like that. Now, I made the bold statement of saying that they wanted to dissipate some heat. Let's see what this power supply looks like. Ah, all right. It does come with an Ethernet cable. And it is going to be Cat 6, I'm guessing. Cat, 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 cat. It doesn't say. But it could actually be Cat 5E and still support that, as we've learned. Uh, it doesn't say. Lots of numbers on this. Yeah, it's probably... It doesn't it say Cat anything. That is crazy. All right. Uh, it's going to support my higher speed. So you may want to actually take note of that and... Go to a, well, you're going to need a Wi-Fi access point, uh, well, a, a router, home router, that's going to support those higher speeds. Otherwise, you're going to be like, I don't get over 100. Of course not, because your, your network is now your bottleneck. So here we go. Here's the power supply. It looks like uh, Apple circa 2003, one of those. And uh, we're looking at 12 volts, 4, am 4 amps. <laughs> that is insane. That's almost 50 watts. That's 48 watts if you do the math. And I'm going to plug this in, plug it all together. I imagine there's a SIM card already in this. Now, we were all... Oh, yeah, there's a little SIM port right there. Now, can I take another SIM and stick it in there? Probably... I don't know. <laughs> what I'm guessing is you need to use this one because this is able to communicate its location. Now, could I pull this out and put it in something else? You know I'm going to try that in future videos. Uh, they couldn't give me this level of information on the call that I was on. But uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm going to put this in my house. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to show you what kind of speeds we get. That's uh, coming up. Hey, guys, I had to show you this. While I was booting this thing up, there's a display on top. And it had a little T-Mobile symbol, and I thought that's pretty cool. But then it started showing me that there were messages and asking me to select things, like which language, uh, whether English or Spanish, and I touched it to see if it was a touch screen. Not only is there a display, it has a touch screen on it. So that is just, well, above and beyond what I was expecting. That is kind of cool. And uh, I'm going ahead and setting it up. I did happen to look at the bottom and notice that they have my SSID, my uh, Wi-Fi key, my username, my password, all printed on the bottom, nice and easy. This is uh, so far so good. Let's keep going. Well, all right, so I had a chance to set this up and I'm testing it a bit, but I wanted to show you the all the different realities that we have here. I learned a lot just setting this thing up and let me show that to you. I'm gonna bring up my phone because it asks you to bring up your phone. You have to download an app, which is this, the T-Mobile internet app. It allows you to control things, connect and make sure your gateway's connected, that kind of thing. I did set it up. The best I can possibly get is between a good signal and a weak signal. So here's the weak, weak signal because, you know, the, let's show the worst reality here and show you what I'm getting. So what I'm going to do is now, uh, while I'm running my phone with a weak signal uh, to, to the base station, and let's go ahead and see what kind of speeds we're getting. Now, my phone's here in my garage. Getting good Wi-Fi signal. Oh, you will notice there's a little six here. I don't know if you can see that. I want to swipe down and see if I can show you that. Swipe down on my phone. Swipe down again. Yeah, there's my network connection. Here. You see that little six that's right next to this? This is a new type of Wi-Fi. It's called Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11.ax. It is brand new. It is faster. It allows you more bandwidth. If you want to get over 100 megabits transferred to your machine, including your older legacy machines, uh, you're going to need to, well, upgrade. Um, you will get some awesome speeds. I'm going to show you that. My, this PC is, uh, well, it's older than that. So uh, I'm going to show you all of that. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to swipe up, I guess. There we go. So let's do a quick speed test on this. Boom. This, this is my phone sitting in here communicating with the, the gateway in the other room. Look at these scores. This, was, this is a weak signal. <laughs> I'd love to see an awesome signal because this is pretty darn good. I've seen scores of 200. Uh, I have a newer tablet. You may have seen it, the Dragon Touch. I went ahead and ran it on the Dragon Touch because that has really fast Wi-Fi. Here, it'll recognize my face on here somewhere, I think. There it is. Look, I pulled a 200 and a 38. 
in the other room. So yeah, this is working if you have devices that take advantage of it. If you don't, like for example, this PC that I'm running on right now, here, let's go ahead and do a test. It sees T-Mobile, let's go ahead and do a test. This again, this one does not have Wi-Fi 6. This one has the older one, but still, I'm getting Comcast speeds. Oh, I'm getting better than Comcast speeds. Look at that. I'm in the 100 zone. That is just freaky good. 39 ping is not horrible, but if you're a gamer, my son's going to miss his 8 and 11 ping. He might have to join reality and start getting fragged like the rest of the kids. That's when you get killed in video games. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, this is not bad at all. I was getting about 88 to 85 down and 6.5 up. 30 up is totally different, and I'm going to love this for uploading stuff. It's going to be great. So uh, that looks pretty good. And this, is, again, is with a weak signal. Let's check that again and show you that the signal that I'm getting boop, is qualifies as being weak. Well, again, that doesn't seem so bad to me. Let's pull this one more time. 176. I'm able to pull the results up on this somewhere. At least I can on my desktop version. Oh, yeah, the results. You can see all the different results that I've been getting today. I've got a couple over 200. Those were great. Um, let's keep testing this. I'm going to do one more. One more and show you that we can get some good scores. I get 200 if I'm in the same house as it. But I'm out in the garage here. So, hey, it's a good, good reality check because you want to see what you're going to get, not what I get. So I only have two bars out of five. And look at those speeds. That's just, that's fantastic. Come on. Give me 170. But, you know, this is fantastic. It's twice what I was getting from Comcast. And it is uh, truly unlimited. And for up speed, it's even better. Here's my Xfinity bill or tracking my account. You can see with, with three kids, the home learning, we're hitting over a terabyte a month. Over a terabyte a month. So people say, how come you haven't tried 4K? Well, I haven't tried 4K because that's four times the uh, amount of memory as uh, uh, streaming at 1080p. And as you can see from this, now I don't care. There are no data caps, none whatsoever. So I'm getting a 4K TV. I'm going to get a new NVIDIA Shield and be able to show you all the upscaling capabilities of that and give you my, my thoughts on that. 4K TVs, in case you haven't seen, have come down in price dramatically. I've got a 40, no, is that 52 inch, 58 inch? I don't know. I'll have to go look. I think it's a 55 inch TV coming. It's $309. It's insane. These prices are just crazy. So we'll take a look at that and see what we can get for our money and see if it's worth going to 4K now that we can get the bandwidth to support it. You can get Netflix streaming in 4K. So uh, now that I don't have any data cap, it might be worth my time. I also don't have, uh, you know, pricing that's roaming all over the place. Notice this. They do want to show you if you go over, and I was threatening, <laughs> it was really threatening here a couple of times. This was over a terabyte, but they had a little grace period. Uh, I was under, under, under because my one of my kids was away at school, but now she's back. So uh, over, over. And we're on target to be over for this month, but luckily it's only eight days in. We're using a lot of data, but I don't have to worry about that anymore because this is, well, this is less expensive. Here we go. Right now it's 50 bucks a month. You should check it out and see if you can, if it, if it's near you. If they'll send it to you, it's probably good because they're not going to send it to you if it's not going to work for you. So in fact, it took me a long time to get it. So check your availability right now. It's 60 with auto pay and why does it say 50? Oh, it's $50 a month now, regularly 60. I'm locking in at 50 bucks a month. I couldn't be happier. I was getting a hundred megabit before. Well, my shirt has changed, which means it's a different day. So I've had a little more time to uh, experience this and be working with this. And I got to tell you, it streams incredibly well. 
and I can't wait to hook it up to the rest of the house and see how my gamers in my family like this because that's going to be a big test. You know, we tested out the latency or the ping scores that we were getting, but it all depends on the servers you were hitting. The pings you saw were based on the speed test that I was running, but the servers that my kids are trying to hit for different games could actually be on a different network. You may actually have to go to an IPX point, which is where the two networks have a joining point. So even though I'm in San Jose, some packets may have to go all the way to LA or Las Vegas in order to get on a different piece of the network. The internet as a single network is a fallacy. It's about seven large companies that provide the internet. And uh, well, we're gonna have to see how this works, but I do feel that 5G is going to be the last mile solution that is ends up being prevalent. And any gaming issues that we have in the short term are soon gonna go away once people start replicating their servers on all different pieces of the network. Let's see what it's like, but uh, hey, click the, click the like button, if you would, and click the subscribe button with the bell icon. I'm gonna let you know what this is like as we continue to go, but I would check availability, and if it's not available in your area, click for updates, because you wanna be notified when it does, so you can lock in this low price like I did. Uh, this could be a great solution for us. Unlimited and uh, 50 bucks a month. I kind of like it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I know a lot of people have been asking about, can I take it on the road? Can I use this in my business? It looks like they want to know your address and if they are locating it so that they can provide excellent service. They want to be able to sh make sure that the tower in your area and the network in your area isn't overloaded and you get a good experience and your neighbors are getting a good experience too. So I had to wait a couple months in order for this to become available in my area, but I signed up and they let me know and here it is. And even though my speed or my signal strength is on the weak side, my speeds are phenomenal. So uh, let's see how that runs. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.